So you ever want to do an old timey video effect that looks something like this? Hey, listen here, partner. You're going down. Pew, 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 pew. It can be super easy now in DaVinci Resolve 19 with a few drag and drop effects that they added in. Hit that like button for me. I'll go ahead and get out of the way so you don't miss anything. Alrighty, right here is that little clip where I'm acting like I'm in an old time Western movie. Now, depending on how old you want to make it look, you can use some or all of these different things I'm about to show you. So first of all, you got your clip selected. Come over here to the toolbox and then come down to open effects. Now it is normally standardly here in the third section down. So we got resolve blurs, resolve color, and the third section is resolve FX film emulation. Now the very first one that I would go ahead and recommend is this film damage. As I scroll over, you can see it kind of made it like a sepia color, almost like an old timey film, like maybe from the eighties or something where the quality color of the color is not that great. And you can see some lines and specs floating around in there. I generally adjust this to make it look even more damaged. It depends how old the film you want to actually make it look. The next thing I'll go ahead and grab is actually this flicker edition. Now this is going to be kind of emulating as if it's like a reel to reel film, like that super, super, super old stuff that has that flicker when you watch it. So we're making this old school black and white, like a real to real film. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Now, the next thing I'll do is because we're going to make this black and white, we have that selected. Go over to the color page. Now, once on the color page, go to the RGB mixer, come down and you just check off right here. It says monochrome. Boom. Check that. And it turned black and white. We can go ahead and jump back to the edit page now. Now, if that looks good enough for you, you can go ahead and leave it that way. But I prefer to go ahead and edit the actual effects a little bit to make it look even better. Now, the first thing is that the quote unquote video damage is a little bit light. So what I could do is this dirt density. We're going to turn it up quite a bit here and the dirt size. You can see it actually just zooms in and out. So that can determine how well you see it, correct? And also, I love to come down to the scratch. And that's this line you can see right here. A lot of times those pop up in old film that is just 110 years old or 80 years older or whatever. You can change the scratch position. You see it move around. You can change the scratch width which I usually go ahead and do that to make it a look a little bit better. And you can even change how fast it moves around. So we're going to go ahead and move that stuff and give it a play forward. And yeah, if it's super old footage, that's about what you're going to see. You can even come down and add multiple scratches like this. They can be exactly uh, sitting still, or you can check off to have multiple moving scratches, make them a lot bigger like this and just make it more damaged. And that, my friends, is how you make your footage look like it's incredibly old.